very good morning, driver. You're taking this Northern Rail 158 from Manchester Piccadilly to Liverpool South Parkway. However, there is a delayed service ahead. We appear to be cleared into platform 14. Oh yes, the title. You know I was going to forget. I just have so much fun. This scenario is by Joshua 12 GTR. Oh, look at this. We've got Pendolinos. We've got um, the 180. We've got a Voyager. And a 158. Oh, look at that. Nicely done. It's been real, folks. Yeah, really, Voyager. Awesome. Go through this yellow. about 15 seconds ahead so I'm not too worried. Six car stop is just here. By the way, I was just choosing to ignore you, uh, Moggy. <laughs> uh, he did it with no speeding. I think mine was a fairly careless one to be honest, so it was shameful. It's not a six coach, a six car, it's a two threes. It's just that the author has chosen to use um, all the um, non driver ones for the rear ones, they don't show up as motored. The 60 mile per hour speed change when they change. Yeah, that was it. It popped to 60 briefly. <coughs> I was, I was sort of, uh, I was looking. I'm, I am going to blame chat. I was looking at the chat, looked down, and all of a sudden I was getting um, over speed. Never mind. No warning on yet three or four screens. Oh, I guess root knowledge is anyway. You'd know about that one. Then. It's always no. It's your fault. It's your fault specifically, Ed. Hash blame Ed. <coughs> Did I remember to take all my personal belongings when I entered the train? No, I've left a, a sack on the, uh, a bag on the station. Sorry about that. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. The highest score on a career scenario after it master is one thousand points. <coughs> ha! 
at her home into Manchester Oxford Road, platform two. Have I ever scored less than minus a thousand? Yeah, minus eighty-eight thousand is the best I've had so far. Can I turn the HUD off, please? No, it is. cannot turn the HUD off. Had negative scores like everybody. I've also had a lot of positive scores. I've got something like one hundred and fifty gold medals. in that button. Our next stop is Warrington, so we are non-stop except for the fact that we're following a slow service. DWA King Class, how did I do it? It was because I was um, I was going um, about 160 kmh and um, I misread a signal. I didn't realise that the next signal was 60 kmh. So I went into a 60 km per hour zone at 160 km per hour. Uh, I think that alone was about 20,000 points. <laughs> and it didn't get any better from there on, really. Uh, invisible AI trains. Yeah, the invisible AI trains are because of... Um, you need to go into the cab and come back out again. Just change the view a couple of times and it will reset it. How come the rain effects aren't working? Because I think this is an old 158 and the rain effects don't work on this one. This is the 158 I think from Settle and Carlisle. 25 limit. We also just passed a yellow so we're still following, uh, expecting a red light. Red light, so I just want to pull the speed down a bit. There we go. We've got blockage going on here. Probably going to blame me now.
not a single yellow, so we're still looking for a red in uh, about a half a mile. However, the train in front now has an 85 miles per hour speed limit. So uh, it may well be leaving in front of us. Now, if it's a stopping train, that's not really going to help us because it's still going to get held up by uh, stopping at stations. Uh, Kazan, no, this is a northern one. This one actually comes with Settle and Carlisle. The one that comes with Liverpool Manchester is a regional rail um, and has actually been updated. So this is a relatively old model. Double yellow now. <clears throat> that gives us three quarters of a mile. and a regional rail buggy. It's yellow, so I'm going to assume we're stopping in half a mile. <coughs> Robert Lanny, double yellow means I've got two clear sections in front of me. Single yellow means I've only got the section I'm going into clear, and the signal at the end of it is potentially is currently a red. Green means at least two blocks, unless you're in three as uh, three aspects in which means at least one block. Right, so we're going to red. Yellow. <laughs> nice response, Chico. Central trains. Now that comes in the uh, 156, uh, the 158 pack. There is a 15, or there was a, at least there was a 158 pack, which had a number of unbranded liveries in it. So ready. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Talking about collieries, Ed. What about Foxfield? I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but my, my neck is hurting like mad. What to do 
doing that, really. Hang on, what? We've opened doors. Don't open the doors, what did you do that for? Oh, this doesn't have DRA. I've actually clicked through to the platform. Oops. I can't go at the moment until the doors are shut. Oh, the doors shut. Excellent. Right, let's go. Extra unofficial uh, stop. Trafford Park. Oh, there's a football field somewhere around, isn't there? A bit of a pitch. Uh, Ayrton's dropped me a, uh, a message on YouTube. Comment on the video and I'll fix it. Well, I don't think the fail was entirely my fault, Tuco Gaming. I went to press the DRA. I didn't realise I didn't have a DRA. <laughs> Single yellow again, so just over half a mile. I'll definitely leave a comment here because um, that way I can go and fix it. People will be searching for it using those details, so if I've got the details wrong they won't find the scenario. Why did you read it as custard signals? Because you're eating fish. You're eating fish fingers right now, aren't you? Did I hear about the German train cash? Yes, I did. Before I went to work this morning, it's horrible. I'm really curious to know what went wrong there because that really surprises me. automatic braking system failed. But how did two trains get left uh, rooted into the same block? Because it's a single track section and two opposing trains somehow get rooted into the same block. Or did it throw, uh, did it run the um, signal and then go flying into the um, 
a jump a point or something. I mean, the automatic braking system would be PZB in this case. There would have been a 2000 Hz magnet protecting it from going onto the section of track. There's a curve there, so we must assume the train drivers must not have been able to see each other beforehand. But, but signalling. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> what? Stadium between me and the signal, yeah, I know. One ran two red lights, okay. So that sounds like driver error or a pro fault with the controls that prevented the driver from uh, stopping the train. That makes more sense. Well, I thought with head-on collision that um, were these two trains going in the same direction or different directions? You know, did one go up the back of the other one or did they go head-on into each other? Because I'm the impression of head-on into each other. Phonex29, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Becoming an expensive hobby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know all about driver. Absolutely. They were head on. So in that case, yeah. So it was. It wasn't a case of catching up. It was actually he was. Um, uh, he he got into a section that uh, it, he would have come off of and gone over a point that wasn't set for him. Presumably that was the last red light that was run. I mean, that's, I mean, most, just, most points will let you do that. But it seems odd that the uh, PZB, maybe he was driving without PZB on. <laughs> I could sympathise. <laughs> Yellow lights. Sorry, Margie, we're not panicking. It's fine. Yeah, but to pass two red signals with PZB, I mean, that's got to be a serious failing of either the electronics or the driver. That's why I was so surprised, because the German signalling system is really, really tough, and specifically to prevent that exact situation from happening. Or he was given the pass the signal by the signalman. Absolutely empty calling, it could be, but then... I don't know. Uh, with PCB, can't you? Yes, you can only pass override at 40 kmh. If you press the override button above 40 kmh, it does absolutely nothing. spam track if they were going around corners they wouldn't see each other and to be honest if you've got two trains heading towards each other at 80 kilometers an hour then they're not going to see each other in enough time to get down to more than about 60 kilometers an hour each and that's still 120 kilometers an hour head of collision which is devastating phonix what dsu pack is this so this is the liverpool to manchester route uh, and i'm running the class 158 that comes on the settler carlisle pack so this is the uh, the pink and purple one that one. Yeah, 
They were 100 kilometers per hour each train, yeah. And the chances are those trains, there were probably 125 kph trains. So they may have been slowing down. It just wouldn't make much difference. The SNC one sure has TSX features. It could be from the old 158 pack then. That's possible. The old 158 pack is really old. How do I get scenarios, Mr. Evil? Uh, they're downloaded from Steam Workshop. Looks like a yellow light with a uh, root indicator. Yep, you're 15 uh, speed limit coming up, which will be the uh, junction. Cheers, Tyron 1. Well, Porterbrook livery, Chico Gaming, is that one. I mean, they've been Porterbrook painted uh, Gordon Highlander, the class uh, 55 Deltic, in their uh, pink livery. I thought it was quite nice, but I think some people uh, had uh, other, other thoughts. <laughs> Slowing down for this 15. Porter Book Delta was a crime. <laughs> uh, BNSF, once you've um, finished the scenario, zip it up and send it to me. Um, let me know and I'll send you. Well, just send it to my email address. You may send me a Twitch message, I'll send you the address. Or well, one of the moderators can whisper it to you. I guess we've been looped. Let something go past. Is hurting a bit now. You thought you were supposed to speed up at red lights. Red lights make you angry, like when you charge them. Oh no, wait, that's what bulls do. Sorry. I set the camera next to the train, certainly, cop. Is that what you mean? Of course, now the train will go, the light will go green for no reason. I'll be sitting there just staring at it.
Is that daytime lights? No, it's daytime um, because the um, the big lights on the uh, other side. This loco doesn't have daytime or nighttime lights. So it's only been set up with lights, but that's the daytime configuration. There's only a marker under the driver. It's 9:25, 9:30 in the morning, so all is good. Nighttime lights. You'll be the other way round. You'd have a marker on the um, uh, and pass in the second man side, and a main light on the driver side. Yeah, we've gone yellow. Look at that. See, cop plopper. Yeah. Well, the nighttime lights are on the left because I think it gives more light to show up things that are line side. What's the live map thing? It's a little plug-in, a little application that I've written which plugs into the game and pulls out the, your location in the world and then just plots it on top of Google Maps. Why not have light-up signs? They're possibly a bit more expensive and there's a bit more maintenance involved. Why isn't this in the livery with the Manchester Liverpool line? Uh, licensing. It's unbranded and, and no, but they, it, people generally don't like unbranded trains. They want brand new trains. So since Northern uh, Review turned down being involved, they weren't interested in having licensing. That was the way the decision was taken and taken to make it regional rail instead. What's the finish point for this scenario? South Park by 18 miles. So we're doing basically a full journey. Oh, South Parkway, sorry, yes. It said Liverpool, so I assumed. In that general vicinity. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's at the, uh, the point where at the bottom of the route where it, it turns up, isn't it? Uh, BNSF, it does indeed come with the regional rail 158. This isn't the, re, this isn't the 158 that comes in the route. Right, we've potentially got a uh, red signal coming up here, so... That doesn't look very red to me. That looks a little bit on the greeny side of route. Interestingly, this signal isn't showing up. I wonder if it's a distant repeater of some sort. to Warrington. Green line. Mm -hmm. 
175 limit at the moment, or we'll be in second. Green lights now, so we've got a bit more um, leeway to uh, stick to the speed limits. Is there any route and train simulator which simulates ETCS? Not that I'm aware of, no. Where do you start? I put all of the usual, um, all the function stubs in, like on, on, on control value change, uh, update, all the good, the default functions. Same as I do with the scenario script, I throw in all other stub functions and events and so forth and then start filling them in. Of course, if what you're doing is a loco that you've already done something similar, you start from that. Bear in mind on a loco, you can run a loco without a loco script. So you pretty much want to work out what you're missing. Start filling that in so you start controlling steam effects. And all that sort of thing. Lighting. If it's a steam engine, have you got to put any kind of overriding like steam cylinder simulation scripting? It's all good fun. Has the Acela Express been removed from the store? I've no idea, train boy. I, uh, I haven't checked myself. Got the video intro working on your snow. Nice one, GWR King Class. Good to know it's a useful tutorial. Coming into Warrington Central now. Don't forget, folks. Um, London Bright, sorry, the Brighton Model World exhibitions coming up um, in a couple of weeks, I think. So I'll be there Friday and Saturday. If you're uh, and uh, Steve will be there on Sunday, so if you have the opportunity to pop down. It'd be good to see you. Started. Teleport, my friend. Teleport. How else? Yeah, the seller's has always been available as a separate DLC module. It's never been bundled or anything, except it was bundled or bundled as part of uh, TS 2015. Twelve miles, Little South Parkway, and the green lights. Uh, the Acela. If you bought 15, you'd have got the Acela. It has scenarios for New York, New Haven as well.
speed limit at the moment. See you later, Chico Gaming. Final station in 12 and a half miles. Is there a passenger view? Oh, there is a passenger view, look at that. Oh, if you bought TS15, then you probably got the SLO with New York, New Haven. In fact, you definitely did. TS, all of the TS15 editions came with the SLO. Uh, with scenarios on New York and New Haven. You got MSTS to work on Windows 10? Yeah, it doesn't. It's not too hard to make it work on Windows 10. MSTS just keeps on kicking. White mid, you've got to remember, mate, this loco is uh, seven years old now <laughs> in the game. It's an old loco. G Dollar King Class. Did I ever try trains? One more than that. I, uh, for, I was until. Trains just after. Well, I was. Uh, yeah, trains 2004, SP3, Passenger Edition. I was actually a beer tester from the very beginning right up to there, so. Yeah, I'm very, very well versed in trains. Let's see you later, Ron Merrill. Well, I just like all train simulators. Um, trains had it uh, brought its own uh, uh, flavour to the to the mix. got the new one as well, the new era one. There do we know more shout outs being so what must stop doing? I was a beer tester. <laughs> Speed up now, finally. Nine miles to go. Yellow. I used to tell all the names of people watching the stream, yeah, I know, but then we started to get 100, 150 people. And uh, that got kind of insane. How many uh, people have had downloading stuff for the UKTS after the upgrade? I've got no idea, I don't really look at the stats for it.
Road with Ryan and Blue Sky. Road with Ryan I used to ride, drive on. Um, I don't remember Blue Sky Steel. A Southern Bell or Evening Star Night. Oh, I'm Moggy, that's an awesome idea. Go green light. Hey there, Gaucha. Quite right, Moggy. When we were a lad, this is what we call the train simulator. Look at those graphics. Rockstar Games made train simulator here, Grand Theft Train. <laughs> four colour screens. This Specky could do more than four colour, 16, right? In fact, one of the spectrums we have been modified, it could do 256 colours. I read an article somewhere that uh, described that the, um, I think it was in the 128, um, the colour chip that was in there actually could do a heck of a lot more, but it was cut down so that it would just do what was in standard spectrum. And by soldering some pins together and doing some other magical stuff, you could unlock all these other colours and you get all these funky colours coming out of spectrum. It was weird. So if you started in Trains Mobile, then you found TS2015. Nice. See you later, BNSF. I like the idea of doing a um, Southern Bell Evening Star night though. I have to get a bit of practice on. I haven't played Southern Bell or Evening Star in a big number of years.
KCS knows how to turn a local into a work of art. Which one's that? You should have rivalry between each type of computer. Well, the it was generally Commodore 64 versus Sinclair Spectrum. I don't quite know why, because the you know Sinclair Spectrum is obviously much better. But <laughs> then you had the odd person in the side going, "Well, what about my Acorn Electron?" And then both groups usually just turned at them and laughed. There's PlayStation the Xbox, yeah, really. Amiga versus ST, yep. This generation cop up a mouth, it's PlayStation the Xbox. <coughs> Last generation, uh, they may have had a bit more in it, but um, this generation. We, I'm sorry, but the Wii U is a uh, no. Commodore 64 had the better, the better sound. It did have a better sound. It probably had better everything, to be perfectly honest, but that's not the point. <laughs> 464! Oh my word! Yeah, we had 464s. Um, that's the Amstrad, isn't it? For the CPC 464. Even Amstrad decided they'd better off, be better off owning the Spectrum and making a Spectrum that looks like a 464. So they called the Plus 2. I don't mind, I take that note right now. <laughs> I hurt you straight to the heart. Oh, I do apologise. I do apologise that you are offended by what I said. <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, I personally love the, uh, the Nintendo. I am taking it back as far as to say that. The Nintendo was an awesome machine. Um, and, um, you know, where the PlayStation and the Xbox have had fabulous power and performance, the Nintendo always won on gameplay, which is sort of more important, really. I mean, our Wii still gets a lot of use. Well, relatively speaking. When it isn't injecting any every disc we put into it. 180! Oh, that's that yellow and black marble that was 180. I used to love playing that game. That's what I was going to do, Katie. I was going to run the uh, use uh, Marvin, I think it is. Use one of the specy emulators to uh, run the um, uh, to run the uh, the games. Old Houston Houston Consultants games. It's green again. What's my favourite Xbox game? Well, I don't have that many Xbox games. To be honest, they all sort of stand out in their own way. At the moment, I'm running through Far Cry 4. yellow with, um, this is because uh, around where we are here we're going to go junctions which turn us right, facing Dapper Dave in the final year. Rockstar Ate My Hamster was another favourite game. Used to enjoy Rockstar Ate My Hamster. Driller, Buggy Boy. Dark side, just driller but better. Star Glider, Elite. I had so many games on the Spectrum. Loved that machine. I had a um, an Opus Discovery disc unit for it as well. That made life a lot easier. 
and then later on I got the Mars Gordon Technology Plus D um, disc controller for it, which is even better. Is my game losing frames? Yeah, Lord BT, this machine isn't as good as the one I normally like to stream with. Great Escape, yes, I remember Great Escape. Mr. Evil, what scenarios are we doing today? So we've got this one, and then we're going to do an American scenario next. Southwest Chief to Chicago. Anyone remember the Jim will fix it game that Mastertronic published? It was like Supermarket Dash or something like that. That actually turned into like a major hit. <laughs> I'm sure being on the telly didn't help it at all. One of my favourite old, old, old games was on the Atari 800. It's um, Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. I still think of the. Um, some of the things from that, like when you die, you'd be shuffle off your mortal coil or gave an obelisk to Sharon. All of those phrases I got from that game. And um, and then the little music and so forth that was in the background of that. I used to love that. Yeah, I'm going to have to make inquiries if I can find out whether or not the um, the laptop is um, done with the extra, extra, extra duties that it was uh, called in to do. Shadowfire, I don't remember Shadowfire, no. What about Raphael Gecko's games like um, Exelon and Cybertron or something like that? Exelon was great. Well, then there was those games with the massive sprite that filled up half the screen, like Turnanog. Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy, Ultimate Play the Game, like um, Trans Am, um, Attic Attack, Jetpack, Lunar Jetman. See, Jetpack, there's a game that's crying out for a modern remake. EX O L O N Exelon. Oh, no destination. I think we're actually going to Liverpool. Yeah, there was a series of games by the same people as Turnanog. Impossible Mission, yes. Played that. Spy Hunter. Flight Sims, there you go. Digital integration. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't quite know what happened there, but <clears throat> we finished it. Oh, was there a thing in the top right? Oh, I've got that covered up. I've got my chat window over there. Um, I'll show you. I've got my chat window over the top right, so um, 
I can't see what's going on with the uh, with that. Never mind. Uh, right, so changing the route. Let's get the last one going, which is Southwest Chief, Chief to Chicago. Bear in mind, folks, if you look for this scenario on Steam Workshop, the word Chief has been misspelled, unfortunately, uh, which did keep me busy for a little while trying to find it. 